but is getting a lot of black people support that could, should be alarming and an example of us not protecting the culture especially is uh, stuff like Lil Mabu. You know, stuff like that. I think that's a direct teach, thing. Teach me how to drill, kid. Yeah. The, the reaction to that. Because stuff like that, yeah, that dude. Mm-hmm. And I th- I'm pretty sure I didn't like it then and it bugged me, but I didn't want to have a serious convo then and serious us out then, but we here now. Um, we don't, If we protected the culture more, we wouldn't allow that to happen. There's no reason why it's, real, it's kids, real sons, real daughters, real uh, children that went through the drill stuff, lost their life, played in the streets, did all of that. And fortunately, we have a Chief Keith. We have a superstar in Lil Dirk. And we got a few other people that's making money off of a life they unfortunately had to live. And they making at least some money to support their family. Some black youth out there, when I speak, when I say them, they able to make some money and support their family off of this. But it should be no way that we letting... Lil Mabu, some suburban white kid, come play with that, guns drill, all of that, make money, be celebrated, and then go to college and leave and grow up and do whatever he want and for a better prospering thing when it's like it's kids that's still going th- it's kids that's really going through that rap and that ain't that can't even make it. And we letting him come play. And I just think it's a bad precedence to set because five, ten years from now, we're going to be looking up wondering why it's less Lil Dirks and more Lil Mabu. give a different perspective of that. Um, but is are we allowing him or allowing them in the culture? Or are they hijacking the culture for their own? Because if they are the biggest fan base, if they are the biggest consumer, if the companies that run hip-hop are owned by these people in these distribution places... Is it? The, are they hijacking it? They already in all the positions to actually push whatever artist they want, whatever sound they want. We've kind of sold our culture out. You know what I'm saying? We've kind of sold it out for the money. We've like, where's the conscious music? Where where's the mix of hip hop? Back in the day, we had a mixture of hip hop. It wasn't like every, we had our gangster music. Like it's a place for drill music, bro. I was just listening to a new kid, um, Von off seventeen hundred earlier. Like it's it's a place. Like bro, I'm telling you. You know why he's so dangerous to me? Cause he, got, he looked like you. He wears yes. Glasses. Yeah, I know. I he is exactly super. I ain't been to Chicago since he came out. He is <laughs> super scary a, to me. A shiesty on with the glasses. That's why I know. I keep my hair out, glasses <laughs> on, face out, no hoods. Hey, this is. I'm not him, y'all. I uh, got hair. Cause he. It, when I seen him, I was like terrifying that he uh, looked like me, and he out there doing that crazy stuff. It's a, it's oh a, my man, god! It's a lot going on, but it's it's a, like as bad as as bad as I feel guilty listening to that, or like I said, Young and Age last week, like. I like that song, but like it's, I feel bad because I know like these dudes ain't just rapping. Like some of these dudes is really serious. But we had our gangster music back in our era too. We had we had our people that you believe that was doing things. So it's like it's 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 a place for all that in hip hop. But right now there's not even that blend. You have to almost go deep sea diving for like that good other like I, like yeah. one take Timmy, bro. You gotta search there's the no way I would have not heard one take Timmy back in the early two thousands. Like, it's no way, bro. But it's like, that's what it's become. Like, you almost got to find something late. And it's like, hip-hop has changed. But I feel like it's more, we already gave the culture up. I don't even feel like it's ours. Look at yeah. the DNT Awards. Like, we've kind of already gave our culture up. We don't even own our stations. Yeah, that is, up, that is a part of it. Is that is a part of MCU it. Even um, raps. Where all that stuff at, bro? We already sold out. Where the box at, bro? What happened to the box? I know we got YouTube and all that. I know, but where's our YouTube channel that's just videos all day? What? Vivo. Oh, yeah, Vivo. They own that too, though. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> where's but ours? It, but it do come For back us, to that. Cause like, I think that even like somebody like a, uh, like a Mabu or whatever other white kid starts a thing, not from that. No, that's and, Slim Jesus Liquor and Walls. That's what you're thinking about. Yeah. But like, um, yeah, if it's if it's uh oh yeah, this is what I was gonna say. My bad. When stuff like that, like you're saying, as far as us selling the culture, it is kind of like that. But are we selling the culture, or is it almost kind of like you say a hijacking to where we ain't got a choice? Because I don't know if Fabio really want to do the song with Mabu, or if Fabio get a heads up like you do this song with him because we need him to be kind of stamped, quote unquote. And then this is gonna happen over here for you, or you can keep progressing. You know, you know over why here. they do it? I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you how they do it. This how they hijacked it. This how we this how we sold it out, bro. And it's been happening for years. You're right. He might not have wanted to do it, but he probably like, yo, Fabi, we need we need this look for this kid. 
We're gonna give you 150 k of his budget. We, we need you to we need you to make this song credible. We'll give you another X amount of money for the video shoot. X amount of whatever out his budget that uh, that we don't need to recoup our percentage from yeah. that. And who gon' and who gonna not do who it? Who not gonna do it? I think Gucci Mane charged what the Jake Paul brothers when they was like trying to rap and stuff. I think Gucci mm-hmm. charged them five hundred thousand for a verse. That's what I'm saying. And if you get it, and they paid I got it. it, you paid it, I got it. And like those kind of moves, been they didn't do the a trap throughout. song, but they still had Gucci. They on had the Gucci song. on the fact yeah. that they did a song with Gucci. Yeah, it's, it gives yeah. you certain credit. And, Gu- and Gucci be knowing. Gucci know what the Gucci cosign mean. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna raise the bag five hundred. Five hundred thousand. And it's like we and, and, and ain't no knock to Gucci. I do. And it you too. never heard that song. I've never heard it. It'll, I it'll know never make the algorithm. Yeah, nothing Every, because you're not in that. But uh, what was they group ten something? They heard it. They hey, yeah, you, you got a half a meal. You can see what I'm saying? Like that's how got, that's how yeah. we sold it out though. It's like, how do you not get that finesse if you Gucci? How do you not try to play? It's like how do you not how do you that? not take the money? Like people have been selling out the culture for so long, it's not even ours no more. Even the little things that we do try to hold on. It, shout out to everybody but, on reactions. Wait. Hold on, I'll give you an example on the reactions. Ren makes the, the song about Nas. It's not saying that Ren ain't a, a, a dope rapper, he's not a great MC, none of that. It's just saying, yo. It's certain things of hip hop. I like this way. Mm-hmm. I don't like this rendition. I know what he's trying to do. I know he's trying to show love and pay homage. I don't like it. We will get hijacked. Y'all haters. Y'all don't understand. Great. Woo, woo, woo. It ain't the black. It ain't black people in, in that video doing that. You know why? Because yeah. we become a minority within the culture anyway. So you can easily get something hijacked by the, the majority of anything. If we go into work and it's three of y'all saying, yo, we need to fight for this. And 20 people saying, no, I'm good where I'm at. You're not going to win. Yeah. So we've kind of gave the culture up, bro. Oh, man, that's a scary thing. Um, all right. At least let's talk about some positive. Well, yeah, no, nah, this is positive in the culture. Shout out to, I was, yeah, anyways. Hey, Gucci got 500K. That is positive. <laughs> that, oh, yeah. That's what I was going to say. If it's, is it really <laughs> bad if they selling? We want it to, to be sold, you know, not told, not taken. Is they taking it if they paying somebody 500000 yeah. a million? If we upcharge what, what, what they just do If with, we, uh, we uh, upcharge it for what they uh, did to the cold crush. What's the baby on them? What's the little baby in them group? Um, Dream Chase. P, no. P, 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 P on them. Po, po, four pockets full? Yeah, but not him. The people that pee. Oh, um, um, I can't think of their name right now. I know who you're talking about. Okay, but like them, they just sold like a certain amount of their catalog. Yeah, three hundred million. Three hundred million. Yeah. They just gave the money. They Quality gave it away. control. Quality, QC. QC. That's what it is. Thanks. Um, they gave it. They gave all that away. They got money for it, but long term, bro, we talking hundreds of years from now. It's somebody else who own all of that music that's going to be classic, that's going to be sampled for years, and it's people that's going to live forever off that. They gave you this little small 300, but what happens when 200 years from now, they made billions billions of dollars off of it. We've been selling the culture forever, bro. You want to know what's crazy? Future just did that, too. With his early catalog, he sold it all, $500 million, right? Mm-hmm. I think Lil Wayne did something like that too for like a hundred and something, but he sold a piece or something. But anyway, he sold Future just did that for his old stuff. He was still making new stuff. I don't even know if it, like Hendrix and the other album, the two albums was uh, included in that when he started doing that double album, uh, the two albums in a month stuff. He just dropped that Metro one. That's not included in the deal. That's new. That's another. That's that's gonna be classic almost. Mm-hmm. So he still. That's another 500 potentially. Or at the time, let time go by. It might be worth a billion. Then he could sell it for a bill. That's crazy, man. So, yeah. Oh, man. Al Maestro. Shout out to you, man. Um, it's, yeah. a, it's, it's, just a, it's just the game we've been playing. So, how much of it do you think we really control? Like, like I ain't going to lie, bro. I like And if you still get to own a little bit of it. They just give us a little bread and we take it. You taking people from the gutter, bro. People that's out here risking their life every day. We just talking about some of the drill rappers, like you said, that can't make it. They out here risking their life, bro. A hundred thousand of them, that seemed like life changing money, bro. Somebody come in you and give you a hundred thousand in cash and say, yo, this your advance. We need you to whoop. You taking that, bro. Like, if nothing else, you finna try to flip it. Yeah. Like, that's just that's kind of how they get us to sell, and then next thing you know, you you make it big, and then you like, yo, wait a minute, I ain't seeing the money I should be getting. Yeah. That's how that's the they've been playing that game. I ain't gonna lie, my stupid, I'd say a hundred thousand and be like, oh yeah, no, I don't need nothing else then, because I'm thinking like a hundred thousand where I'm at right now. Yeah, I'm good. I can I can live off that. That's easy. I'm not considering that I'm probably gonna leave 
and like get yeah, considering that tax, stuff. You, that tax we were talking about earlier. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> yeah that hundred ain't even a hundred. What you gonna be ended? I what you gonna was, end up with is a regular. I thought that was brown income. bag money. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's how they get you. <laughs>